Good morning, Harris Hill. Today is March 29th, 2011, and today is Violet Day. My name is Paige Jones, and my co-anchor today is... Kelsey Valone. We have pledges today for Mr. Howard's class. Please rise and face the flag as we say the pledge. My name is Grace Hansen. My name is Shanta Wynn. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thanks, pledgers. Today's lunch is hot dog on a roll, turkey sub deluxe, snack pack lunch, julienne salad, fruit plate, yogurt lunch, PB&J, 100% juice, baked beans, mixed veggies, diced pears, and fresh fruits. Now let's cut to the weather. Hi, my name is Tim Nichols and I'm your Tuesday weather reporter. The current temperature outside right now is 25 degrees. The high today will be 37 degrees. Your forecast is clouds turning into sunshine. But we'll be outside, now let's get back to the studio. Thanks, Tim. Mrs. Mearing is, at, is out of the building today. She will return next week on Tuesday. Mrs. Gear's classes are canceled today. This is just a reminder that today and tomorrow will be full star, Night of a Thousand Star Committee meeting. We will be looking for star host, hex host, HHTV crew, announcers, and greeters to meet in Cluster 5 at lunchtime. Please get everything you need in the cafeteria and meet in Cluster 5. Today's book review is from Estella Davison in Mrs. Bermuda's class. She read a book called Snow Leopards by Allison Tidbits and Alan Rucroft. Here is what she wrote. There are around 2,000 snow leopards that live in the wild. They are so rare that the species can't be counted. They live in an Asian mountain range called the Him Himalayas. The snow leopard is one of the most beautiful cats in the world. Read this book to find more. Thanks for telling us about this great book, Estella. That's it for the morning announcements. Have a great day, and we'll see you at the buses. Good morning, Harris Hill. Today is March 30th, 2011, and today is a red day. My name is Kelsey Valone, and my co-anchor today is... Paige Jones. We have pledges today from Ms. Kozilek's class. Please rise and face the flag as we say the pledge. My name, my name is Nathan Matilde. My name is Grace Hansen. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Thanks, pledgers. Today's lunch menu is turkey and gravy, ham and cheese on rye, snack pack lunch, julienne salad, fruit plate, yogurt lunch, PB&J, 100% juice, mashed potatoes, stuffing, apple cherry crisp, seasoned peas, and assorted fresh fruits. Now let's cut to the weather. Hi, my name is Kevin Wall, and I'm your Wednesday weather reporter. The current temperature is 28 degrees. The high today is 44 degrees. Forecast with lots of sunshine, but it will be outside. Now let's get back to the studio with Kelsey and Paige. Thanks, <coughs> Kevin. The Harris Hill School Store is open April 4th and April 5th. The school store will be open for third for grades thir 3 through 5 on Monday, April 4th, from 8.45 to 9 a.m. in the cafeteria and for grades K through 2 on Tuesday, April 5th. We will not be able to allow th 3 through 5 graders to shop on Tuesday, so please ensure to shop during your time on Monday. Just a reminder that the entire Night of a Thousand Star team will meet today in Cluster Fly 5 at lunchtime. Please get everything you need in the cafeteria and meet back in Cluster 5 as quickly as you can. Don't forget, tomorrow is the last day to enter night the Night of a Thousand Stars contest. Come down and see if you can guess which stars will be reading which, which books on the big night. The person with the most correct matches will win. The winner will get an autographed copy of the book that their favorite star reads. There will also be a special surprise for the winner on the night of, of the event. The winner will be announced on Friday. That's it for the morning announcements. Have a great day and we'll see you at the buses.
morning, Harris Hill. Today is Thursday, March 31st, 2011, and today is an orange day. My name is Paige Jones, and my co-anchor today, co today is... Kelsey Vallone. We have pledges today from Mrs. Harrison's class. Please rise and face the flag as we say the pledge. My name is Donald Runge. My name is Tessa Monson. I pledge allegiance to the to flag, flag the United States, States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, pledgers. Today's lunch is cheeseburger on a bun, bologna and cheese sub, snack pack lunch, julienne salad, fruit plate, yogurt lunch, PB&J, 100% juice, tater tots, relish sticks, diced peaches, and assorted fresh fruits. Now let's cut to the weather. Hi, my name is Ashley Schumann and I'm your Thursday weather reporter. The current temperature is 33 degrees. The high today is 42 degrees. The forecast is wet snow showers. Play will be adjourned. Have a great Thursday. Now let's get back to the studio with Paige and Kelsey. Thanks, Ashley. Due to the assembly of this morning, we have an alternate special schedule and revised lunch schedule today. This morning is our all-school reading prog programs closing ceremony in the gym beginning at 9, 10, 10 a.m. Teachers, please be sure to your attendance is completed and your lunch counts are in. Cluster 5 students should be lined up and ready to go immediately following the announcements. We will call all the other short cl clusters shortly there thereafter. Thanks and let's have a great celebration together. Mr. Bricko's morning lessons are canceled. Junior band will rehearse today at 2.35. Again, junior band will rehearse today. The Harris Hill School Store is open April 4th and 5th. The school store will be open for grades 3 through 5 on Monday, April 4th, from 8.45 to 9 a.m. in the cafeteria, and for grades K through 2 on Tuesday, April 5th. We will not be able to allow 3rd through 5th graders to shop on Tuesday, so please ensure to shop during your time on Monday. Today's book review is from Timmy First in Mrs. Bermuda's class. He read a book called Carnival at Candlelight by Mary Pope Osborne. Here is what he wrote. Jack and Annie need to save the Grand Lady of the Lagoon and it is almost midnight. Will Jack and Annie save her? Thank you for telling us about this exciting adventure, Tim. That's it for the morning announcements. Have a great day, Harris Hill, and we'll see you at the buses. Hill. Today is April 1st, 2011, and today is a yellow day. My name is Kelsey Vallone, and my co anchor today is Paige Jones. We have pledges today from Mrs. Bermuda's class. Please rise and face the flag as we say the pledge. My name is Ryan Hoyt. My name is Evelyn Van Weingarten. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, pledgers. Today's lunch menu is stuffed crust pizza, fish patty on a bun, egg salad on wheat, snack pack lunch, julienne salad, fruit plate, yogurt lunch, PB&J, 100% juice, cream of broccoli soup, mixed veggies, and assorted fresh fruits. Now let's cut to the weather. Hi, my name is Jessica Santiago and I'm your Friday weather reporter. The current temperature is 35 degrees. The high today will be 43 degrees. The forecast is cloudy with a chance of meatballs. April Fools! The forecast is cloudy with possible rain. Play will be determined. Have a great April Fools Day. Now let's get back to the studio with Kelsey and Paige. Thanks, Jessica. It's Happy Birthday Friday. Mr. Nelson would like to wish the following students a very happy birthday. These students have a birthday between March 28th and April 3rd. If your name is read, please come to the main office after announcements for your happy birthday gift. Marley Cummings, Karen Vanderbilt, Nicholas Bunda, Kayla's, Kayla Regasis, Sam Harris, Claire Richard, Mary Brophy, Nick Correa, Nick Swanger, Ronnie Watts, Biz Yorko, Josh Robinson, Olivia Farmer, Nick Gorski, 
and Jack Micah. I'm sorry if I pronounced any of your names wrong. The Harris Hill School Store is open April 4th and 5th. The school store will be open for grades 3 through 5 on Monday, April 4th from 8.45 to 9 o'clock a.m. in the cafeteria and for grades K through 2 on Tuesday, April 5th. We will not be able to allow 3 through 5 graders to shop on Tuesday, so please ensure to shop during your time on Monday. This is a reminder that the entire STAR team is meeting today at lunch. Please get everything you need from the cafeteria as quickly as possible and meet down in Cluster 5. This, remember, this is a meeting for the entire STAR team. The guesses are in. The name has been drawn. The winner of the Night of a Thousand Stars book matching contest is Audrey Struzak. Audrey will receive a signed copy of the book that her star reads and she will get a mystery surprise on the night of the event. The library staff and star team hope to see you all at Night of a Thousand Stars next Wednesday, April 6th. This message is for 5th grade li library volunteers. Don't forget to bring your planners to the li library to sign up for your April volunteers days. Fifth grade run club will meet on Monday. Please bring in your outside mileage. Now over to Mr. Nelson for Star of the Month. Good morning. Good morning, Harris Hill. Happy Friday, happy April Fool's Day. Um, and <clears throat> welcome, if, you're, if I'm in front of you, generally that means we've come to the end of the month and it's time to celebrate our Star of the Month. A lot of nominations. Thank you everyone for the nominations. More than we've gotten in a few, received in a few months. So keep those nominees. See somebody doing something that you want to recognize them for, for walking the talk and doing good things for people. Keep the nominations coming. But these people were nominated. Caitlin Ardilio, Mrs. Bermudez, Grace Krauts, Maddie Cutter, Nora Chaika, Sala Davison, Michael Delizer, Timmy First, Colin and Ethan Husband, Liza Mancuso, Emily McLean, Emily Moore, Mrs. Peroni, Tyler Sinal, Laura Sherman, Riley Smith, Emily and Maddie, Van Weingarten Audrey and Audrey Struzek. Thank you very much. But our winner for this month's Star of the Month is our own Mrs. Richardson. Mrs. Richardson, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. What well, you it was a very nice nomination for all you do, and you do you do a great job with everybody, welcoming them and getting the kids out to the bus. So that that's a very nice thing. But not only the Star of the Month, you have some really exciting news for the for the Harris Hill because we're kind of in between snow and snow pants and going up on the hill where we can stay up on the hill and kids they, they're, we've been really itchy about blacktop so we have a right. we have a special announcement from district office i'll let you make it okay we've gotten permission to allow the kids to slide in the mud as long as they bring a change of clothes for after all right so as long as they have a change of clothes we'll have somebody at recess any students that want to slide in the mud mm -hmm. so there's we can have like no slip problem. slide mud all right, that'll be fun. Yep. Uh, so, what? Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're the star of the month. What do you like to do? I like to hang out with my family. Everybody knows. Well, most people know I have two sons here, and I have a daughter in seventh grade. And I love Harris Hill. Been around for a long time. I'm only working here for two years, but started with my daughter in kindergarten and loved it ever since. Nice. And and uh, Charlie is in. Mr. Howard's, Howard's class in second grade. And Will is in? Mr. Hershey's class in fifth grade. Oh, uh, so you have a lot of connections to Harris Hill. Yeah. We're glad you, you're here. Thank if you, you see Mrs. Richardson <laughs> walking around, she is this month's star. Thank and uh, Oh, by the way. April Fools. <laughs> back to the studio. Oh, forgot. That's it for the morning announcements. Have a great April Fools Day, and we'll see you at the buses. Bye!